Darko and welcome to Dynamo. Tell us, how did you start your football story? Thanks for having me. I started in Macedonia and played in Robotnički for four years. Then I made transfer to another club in Macedonia, Vardar. I played there three years, four years in Rijeka in Croatia and one year in Saudi Arabia in al -Etifak. Now I came here. I hope I stay more if it's all good. Who was your idol growing up and also your favorite football team? My idol was Ricardo Kaká because I played uh, like midfielder, attacking midfielder till 16, 17 years old. Ricardo Kaká was my favorite player and Shevchenko, so you know my team it's AC Milan. You made your debut quite early at Robotnički at only 16 years old and you were in the starting 11 at Olimpico against Lazio Roma. Yeah, what do you remember from that game? <laughs> I don't like to remember this game. <laughs> we lost 6-0, but it was playoff, you know. So for 16 years, I played the first game 16 years and 16 days. I think maybe I'm still one of the youngest that debuted with that age. So for me, this was a big experience, maybe the biggest in my life. You know, when you come from from kids, you start immediately because I train with the team like five, ten trainings, and I played this game, you know, direct. You were so this was instant impact. Insta, so yeah, the coach this saw was something in you. Big decision from the coach to risk, you know, because I'm young. In 2020, you successfully qualified for the Europa League group stage with Rijeka. Do you consider the win against Copenhagen your greatest achievement at the club level? I can say one of the greatest, yes, because this team in Rijeka was very good. We played very good in the group stage. We were with Napoli, Real Sociedad, and Azalkmar. With Real Sociedad, we played there 2-2, I scored a goal. It was a very good experience. And with Copenhagen, we won 1-0 with one lucky goal. I don't know if you see this, but you need to see this goal. But yes, one of the biggest achievements, for sure. You are used to winning trophies from an early age. Therefore, you have a winning mentality. Unfortunately, Dinamo has gone through some tough times quite lately. What do you think you can bring to the dressing room in order to achieve, achieve success again? Yeah, for sure. First of all, we all need to be professional, you know. So we must uh, act like this. The first thing is to give everything on the training, then on the game. The training is the most important. How you train, that's how you play. So still, I don't know the team, the guys so good. I train with them first day today, only one day with them on the training. I hope to meet them better. Uh, they seem all like nice guys and all from the club seems nice to, to me, all positive. I like this very much. I feel welcome like I'm here like three, four months. I feel like this. So this is very good. And I hope we don't play this game for staying in the league. How would you describe yourself as a central defender? Uh, for me, uh, I know to read the, the game very well. I'm good technically and uh, I like to give some passes between the lines, some diagonals, so this is my biggest uh, strength, you know. Your national team debut was in 2014. Do you, do, did you expect back then that one day you would play for North Macedonia at the Euros? Oh, in the Euros? No, because we've never been even close to the Euros, but this, I think, is my biggest achievement because everything what you do with your country is, you know, <laughs> I'm feeling like this. When Good I think, bumps. Yeah, it's, I don't know how to say this, but I never, I never thought as a young kid that I will play for Macedonia for national team, uh, not to go to Euros, you know. So I hope we achieve this again soon because I don't have too much years in me. I hope next qualifications or something. Which of the two great victories against Germany and Italy is your favorite? Uh, Germany, for sure. I don't know, but that Germany uh, there in, I think, Düsseldorf, not sure where we play, 2-1. And even it was because with Italy, we had a little bit luck, you know, they had like 20, 25 shots. So with luck, we win. But in Germany, it was 
close game, you know. So we win this, and I feel very good about this game. Maybe one of my best in the career. Who was the toughest opponent in that game against Germany? Toughest opponent in Germany, I think Sané. Sané and Gnabry. He was playing striker. So you you consider yourself yourself to be a good defender against fast players because they're both fast. Yeah, maybe it's a problem for me fast. I'm not that fast, but I read the game well, so I go before they go there. This is my strength, but yes, I, I think I can handle them. In 2021, you visited Bucharest quite a lot. What was your impression of the city back then? I visited, but I don't visit it, because we were like three weeks only quarantine. We don't go out from hotel. I saw that there is a lot of traffic jam. Because outside of the hotel was always like 300 cars on the traffic light. But when we go with the bus, I saw and I like it because, you know, the buildings and everything is similar to Macedonia, Italy. So I like it from there. But I have a lot of friends that play here. Boba Nikolov, Petar Petkovsky, Stefan Ashkovsky, Rista Jankov. They all told me that Bucharest is one of the best cities in Europe, you know. So I like to to see the city more. You played in all three games for North Macedonia at Euro 2020. Tell us a bit about your experience at the greatest European stage. We expected a little bit more, at least to draw, because it was a tough group. We played with Ukraine, Netherlands and Austria. I think with Austria was the closest one that we can draw or win, but they were better than us for sure. Ukraine. Also close game in Netherlands, it was the last game, all tired, they have 30 players the same, they kill us, I think, 4-0 or something, but very good experience because first time in a way game, there were like six, 7,000 Macedonian fans, you know, so from Macedonia to go there and support us, it was very good experience for us. And who was your toughest opponent and why Cristiano Ronaldo? <laughs> Yeah, Cristiano Ronaldo, good for me that I meet with him when he is old. If he was younger, it would be a difficult story, but I played with him in Portugal. We lost 2-0 that game. You can see even in 38, how old is he? I don't know, even 39. He still has this mentality. He is always running and everything. You can say, uh, He's not running like he's old, but he was running, believe me. And after this game, we also played with Al Nasser in Saudi. We drove this game. It was good experience, and I think the best opponent I had. Yeah. That was actually your last club official club, game. Yes, club. How was he compared to 2022 in the Euros? I can say to you that for Al Nasser, he ran more than in Portugal, because maybe in Portugal there are a lot of players, you know, good quality, so he's expecting the ball more in the, in the, box. In the box. And here in Nasser, he comes back, he takes the ball, pass and everything, so he was good back there also. How was your Saudi Arabia experience? Do you think that their biggest team teams could be able to compete in Champions League? For sure, I think they can compete. Maybe not to reach, I don't know, quarterfinals or something, but in the group stage they can be tough opponents, especially this year. They take a lot of players. It's very big, uh, big quality there, and it's very difficult to go now there. So I think this Al Hilal, Al Nasser, are very good teams. You already said that you talked to some of your friends, but what did they tell you, or what did you know about Romanian football before you, you came here? I didn't know a lot about Romanian football. I speak before with Boba Nikolov, he playing with Rolo, I think, and this Stewa, the other, I don't mm -hmm. know, which was the name. He played there. He told me that because in Macedonia you don't expect to be too much quality, but when I speak with people that played here, all say that it's very good and every opponent is difficult. Everyone is attacking. There are no easy games. And I expect to be like this till the end of the season because it's going to be fight for sure. Tell us your prediction for Romania at Euro 2024. Which who in the group? Uh, Romania. Which let's who? say overall result. So it's easy possible. We will qualify from the group stage. Yeah. yeah.
I think yes. Fingers crossed. Because we played with you, it was two very difficult games. Who was the best player that you faced? <sighs> the best player from played the game. It was one guy, I think he played in Italy. I forget the name. A winger. Uh, Dennis Mann, Mikhail. Dennis Mann. Dennis Mann, yeah. Mann. He was very good. And this Mitrita is also Mitrita, good. Yeah. He played in Saudi. Yeah. He's also good. What do you like to do in your free time? In my free time, now I have a wife and a kid. I'm expecting one more kid on the way. Congrats. So there is not a lot of free time. <laughs> You're always here with the kid, with the wife, but. I have a lot of friends in Macedonia and the six months I was in Macedonia, so I was hanging with them. I play sometimes PlayStation. This is my free time, not too much. I'm going to restaurants, to malls, something like this. And if it wasn't the case for you to become a footballer, what do you think your profession would be? I don't know. I never think about this because from five years I started football and it's only football, nothing else. What type of music do you prefer? I prefer hip hop, but I can listen to everything besides opera. Opera, I can't listen to opera, you know. And other music, I can listen to everything. Do you have a message for the Dynamo fans? I have. I hope, first of all, we stay in the league. This is, I think, now the biggest question if we stay in the league. We will work hard for this, we'll give everything that we have. And I hope next year more better than this, for sure.